Look at Holly Tree over. I have a hate love relationship for that for Holly Tree. Let's get that thing out of my way. So next time I come up here, I don't have to deal with it. Time I come up this hill, it won't be in my way to get hung up on. Smack me in the head. Come on now. Up to days it goes through.
out the tractor, I'll say, that oak tree has had that dead spot in it for over 30 some years. It's still alive, but it's starting to lose a lot of its big branches, like this whole section here. See all the little, uh, it's a crotch there. But my air up is all dead. It's a red oak, so it's coming down. It's lived its lifespan. It's time for it to pass away. Oop. Take it out of gear so I start it. All right, I already seen the tree that I was hoping was still up here. I couldn't remember if I had taken it or not. It's right over here. We'll go over and get it. The whole top broke out of it. It's, a, it's still living, so that'll be a nice tree uh, to cut up. So, Ooh. come on, branches. Let go of the camera. Let go of the camera. Now, let's see if we can push it over. Let's see if we can push it over. All the roots appear to be on this side, so, might not happen. They're underneath the tracker. This thing did have a big top on it. The tractor's up on the roofs. See the roofs down there? So, I might have to cut them in order to uh, push it over. If I want to come on this tractor. Come on now. Maybe I can get up underneath the roofs and lift up on the roofs there. I don't want to mess the tree up too much. Now it's got to be logging material. I'm up under the roots, but I don't know if it'll, I don't know if it'll lift it. Woo, that's a tough root right there. That's all right. That's okay. We got just the thing to take care of that. We got just a device. Just a device to get that tree. So... This is my Oak Hill. Yeah, I thought I still had a tree stand up here. It's pretty bad when you got so many tree stands. I ain't been out hunting. I got other properties and I got tree stands on them. And I always got to remember where I put them because I move them around and then I forget. So it's pretty bad, but uh, eh, it's okay. There's a lot of oaks up here. We got a lot of water oak and uh, post oak, swamp oak, white oak, stuff like that. So, anyways. The way to fix this is with a wood eating device. So we'll just take real quick care of that. Instead of messing around with it all day, we'll just cut it down. I thought the stump, because it has really long branches or roots going out, upside down might make a nice table holder. <laughs>
some of my short sections of flooring. Uh, my trail goes back down that way to the road. I don't got to go back out the other way. So, yeah. Three small sections. It's got a little buttress here, here in the end. But uh, I'll get up underneath it. I won't better go out that way past that tree with these longer logs, but I got a logging trail that comes up right down there. It goes straight out to the road, so I can get out with longer pieces of uh, logs. I don't see any other locusts up here. Nice big old dead, uh, another, I think it's an ash tree. You see it right, you kind of see it right here, tops. I may cut that down. Uh, I know a lot of the top's dead in it, but it's probably still a lot, of, a lot of good lumber in that. It's either an ash tree, <laughs> it could possibly be um, kind of like butternut or hickory. Um, I'll have to investigate the leaves. The problem is we get a lot of these places that have beech nut little trees. So those leaves could fool you and they're everywhere. So it's hard to tell sometimes what the bigger trees are. But yeah, I could just, that one probably fall over pretty darn easy. And uh, Usually when I cut into it, I can kind of get an indication of what it is. You saw the other tree maybe in the, in the screenshot next to it. It already died, so. Yeah, it's part of the circle of life, I guess. Trees die. Anyways, that's it for this one. I'll join you back at the mill in a day or two, and we'll start cutting this up. So, yeah. Fun day out in the woods. Getting some logs to mill up for the future. some of my short sections of flooring. Uh, my trail goes back down that way to the road. I don't got to go back out the other way. So, 
Yeah. Three small sections. It's got a little buttress here, here in the end. But uh, I'll get up underneath it. I won't better go out that way past that tree with these longer logs, but I got a logging trail that comes up right down there. It goes straight out to the road, so I can get out with longer pieces of uh, logs. I don't see any other locusts up here. Nice big old dead, uh, another, I think it's an ash tree. You see it right, you kind of see it right here, the tops. I may cut that down. Uh, I know a lot of the top's dead in it, but it's probably still a lot, of, a lot of good lumber in that. It's either an ash tree, <coughs> it could possibly be um, kind of like butternut or hickory. Um, I'll have to look, investigate the leaves. The problem is we get a lot of these places that have beech nut little trees. So those leaves could fool you and they're everywhere. So it's hard to tell sometimes what the bigger trees are. But yeah, I could just, that one probably fall over pretty darn easy. And uh, usually when I cut into it, I can kind of get an indication of what it is. You saw the other tree maybe in the, in the screenshot next to it, it already died. So yeah, it's part of circle of life, I guess. Trees die. Anyways, that's it for this one. I'll join you back at the mill in a day or two and we'll start cutting this up. So, yeah. Fun day out in the woods. Getting some logs to mill up for the future. Alright, we're back down here at the corner of our field. In the other lot. I want to get that locust out of there. That'll be the last locust for a while until we cut up see what we get out of these locusts. That's a nice size one there. I'm going to see if I can get in there far enough to uh, put the forks on it and push it. I definitely don't want it coming in the road, but I don't know what's in the way here. It's stopping me from getting to it. So we'll shove a few things around here a little bit. See if we can open this up a little bit here. Close enough to it. Got a log or something in there. We'll take that out of there. And, uh, make ourselves a hole so we can push on that tree. We don't want it going across the road. got me a notch on the other side and I cut about a third of the way in this direction I'm gonna try to push on it and just try to get it going that way more before I finalize the cut I gotta be careful cuz I got a couple vines coming from this tree to that tree but they're small so I think they'll just pull out or break but I don't want it pulling a branch out of this tree coming down hitting the tractor
went pretty decent. What do you think? It's pretty all right. It's hard to tell when you, until you get them out of the woods and get looking at them. They can have some curvies in them. But like I said, the flooring, you know, there's a good six foot, seven foot piece I can make in the flooring. There's another section there. And then there's a nice section from here. There's a knot on the other side and a hole. So I'll cut it here. This will probably be my longest section, but it curves at the end and it's tore up. So... I'd say here we'll probably get like a good 10 foot, maybe. See how it's buttressed a little bit there? So I'd say probably a good 10 foot there. So we'll get some logs out of it. Still plenty of good lumber. And even though I charged the battery and it was full, we got about eight minutes out of this battery from full. So I think it's time to order new batteries. All right, I'll see you later. <laughs>